So the next one we're going to be doing today is um, a faux bark painting. And what we're going to be using is actually not bark and not paint. We're going to be using craft paper and my favorite thing to do, oil pastels. You'll notice these oil pastels might be a little gross, but I promise it's okay. All you have to do to clean them off is to get a paper towel and just wipe them down. It's super easy. You just put that in there and wipe and you will end up with a brand new clean oil pastel. You don't have to worry about doing the whole thing. Just the end. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of paper and we're gonna crumple it up. I know this sounds weird, I promise it works. Crumple it up, then unfold it, smooth it back out a little bit. And the object it is to get as many different wrinkles as we can on this paper before we start working. So take it again, crumple it up again, and continue the process for yeah, about five times. That's my favorite. Five is a good number. So I'll it up one more time. This makes the third time. And then gently open it back up and lay it down and flatten it. Now, I did get a little tear on my corner, but I'm not going to be upset about it. It's okay. We want it to look like a piece of bark. So smooth it out the best you can. Then grab your piece of chalk, and we're going to be drawing a toucan on this paper. The way we start is I like to break it down into simple shapes. Our bird's head can be a circle, over here on the right hand side of your paper. Don't make it small. You make it small, you'll end up with an eye. This is his eye right here. Give him, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that's his pupil, this is his iris, and this is his face. Now, he's got a hat of black hair that comes down, or black feathers, I should say, just like this in the back, and his long toucan beak comes out and down, just like this. Okay, so here's his face, his head, his beak, here's his neck, and then we're gonna draw his body, go off the paper with his body down here. Okay, now split his, face, his beak in two, this way, and then you're going to draw teardrop shape here. This is a different color than this part right here. This is a different color than this part. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our blue, I mean, our, yeah, our blue oil pastel, and we're gonna color the outside part of his eye gently, but you don't want to have any of your paper showing through. And don't worry about the chalk because as soon as you draw over it, it disappears. See how cool that is? Just fill it in. Just like that. Then you're going to take your orange and go around the blue. But don't get it in the blue. We're going to just kind of lightly color around it. Because if you mix your blue and your orange together, it makes this really weird brown color. It's not really pretty. Okay? So this doesn't look like much right now, but just bear with me. Here we go. Grab your white, and you're going to draw a line down from the top up here and make a little white triangle and stop it there where his face, where his eyeball is. Come down below it, back over here to this part of his, where the, um, his face meets his bill. And you're gonna color all of that in with white all the way down to here. This is the part that takes a little bit of time, but I promise it's worth it. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Looks pretty weird, doesn't it? That's okay, it always works out in the end. Grab your yellow and color the top part of his beak with the yellow. I hope you can see that. I have to hold this paper in a really weird way to make it work. All right, so you've got that really pretty yellow right there on his beak. And you're gonna take your orange and color right below it. Don't color in this big teardrop that we did though, okay? We don't want to do that because that's a totally different color and we don't want to mess it up. 
you can bring that orange up into that yellow a little bit and you can see how it blends. It's really pretty when you do that. Bring that orange almost down to where his beak splits. Remember where we drew that line right there? Don't go to it. Bring it down a little bit above it. Then grab your red. This is where you draw. Put the red. Be sure to blend it up into the orange. Okay, there we go. This entire bottom part right here is going to be red too. Turn this this way just a little bit. Fill this in with your red. Try not, to, try not to cover up where his beak splits because we want to be able to see that again here in a few minutes. All right, now grab your blue one more time. And this part of his, his the little teardrop on his beak, you're going to fill that in with blue. Don't color the whole thing though. Just the first part of it, the top part. And bring it down right there. Now, here comes the really messy part, y'all. Actually, before we get there, we want to bring this orange in just a little bit. Almost where his eye is, but don't go all the way to his eye. And do the same thing with the red. I apologize for that, y'all. Even I make mistakes sometimes. Just the red here and the orange here. Don't do it on the bottom because this all needs to be black down here. Here comes the messy part. This is where we use the black. Always save the black for last because if you get a little bit of orange in your black, it just turns everything into a great big mess. So what we're going to do is grab that black and be very careful with it and outline the teardrop on his bill and fill it in where you did not color. Don't get it in the blue. We'll save that for the very last. So we don't wanna make a mess yet. All right, very carefully, this part right here between his eye and his bill, we're gonna put a band of black in there. Fill all of that in. That's the separation of his bill and his face. Okay, I know it looks kind of weird. I promise it'll get better. Now all of this area here, you're going to fill in with black. So now he needs an eyeball. Take your black and fill this in. Leave a little spot up here at the top. Leave it blank because we'll go back in with white here in a minute. Make, give it a little glint in his eye. So now you're gonna tie everything together by very carefully outlining with your black. Don't forget to do the split in his beak. Look at that. Can you see him? Go around his head. Outline his eye. Just like that. How cute is he? Good job, y'all. Finish filling that in. You can go back in and make it a little bit darker. That's what I would suggest doing. Take your white. Put that little bit of white right there in the top of his eye. There you go. There's your toucan. Good job.